Hi. Today, in this video, I'd like to take a look at some of the common place materials that we have lying around our houses. And I want to look at them in terms of their atomic structure, so the arrangement of atoms within them, often in a crystalline form. Let's see what we can learn about the insides of our materials. There are many different crystal structures and variations on them uh, in the real world, but in our house we can perhaps simplify it and focus down onto a few principal types. So the first of these I'd like to look at is um, simple cubic uh, up here, and you'll find it um, commonly shorthanded as just SC. And the classic example of a simple cubic crystal structure uh, is actually salt, a uh, common household salt. So let's have a look at what um, the crystal structure of salt looks like. Uh, it is, as the name implies, based upon a cubic arrangement. So we're looking at something a little bit like that. Uh, with the atoms sighted on the corner, each corner, I should say, uh, of the cube. Right? So we end up with something that looks a little bit like that. And in the case of salt, which is a crystal of sodium chloride, the complication only is in the sense that alternate atoms are either sodium uh, or chlorine. But that's our simple cubic atomic arrangement. So the next time uh, you pick out some, um, uh, some salt and put it on your food, uh, there's a little bit of um, common or garden salt in this shovel here. It's actually sea salt, so maybe not so common or garden. Uh, but it, um, it will have all of the atoms within it arranged in this um, simple cubic structure. Okay, so moving on to our second example would be body centred cubic. Right? There's lots of examples of body centre cubic uh, crystal structures in our house, but let's just sketch out what it would look like um, on paper first. So here's our simple cubic structure that we drew earlier. This is again going to be based upon um, a cube, but we're going to sight our atoms here slightly differently. So we still have an atom sighted at each of the corners Of this cube okay but in addition and I'm going to switch to another color now to try and drag this out as the name implies we've not only got these atoms at the um, vertices of our cube but we've got another one that actually sits slap bang in the middle of the cube now that's a little bit tough to draw but if you can imagine diagonals going through this cube in three dimensions, then slap bang in the middle there is an additional atom. So this is like our simple cubic, but with the addition of an atom right in the middle of the cube. And there are lots of examples of that in the house, uh, but the most common one, I suppose, uh, is associated with iron. So I bought a rather large nail and a hammer as my um, props to demonstrate this. So we have a couple of structures here that um, have the body centre cubic arrangement of atoms within them. Okay, so you've got these crystal structures in your in your household as well. Now we'll move on again. Number three in our list is face centre cubic. 
So face center cubic again is something, uh, um, a fairly basic crystal structure and something where we've got plenty of examples uh, in the house. Again, let's, um, let's sketch it out first, see what it looks like. So we're going to start once again with our basic cube. Okay, so here's our um, cube just as we had before. Um, again, atoms on all eight vertices of this cube, all right? So simple cubic starting position. But now, yet again, as the name implies, um, I'll swap to another color uh, to show you this. We now have additional atoms that actually sit in the center of each face of the cube. So again, imagine these diagonals on this face of the cube. And we've got an additional atom that sits there. Uh, another one in the center of this face and over here and although it's tough to draw it obviously there's one on the face there there's one on the bottom face uh, and there's the one on the rear face uh, over here so an atom on all four corners and another atom uh, in all six of the faces of our cube that's the face center cubic structure and um, there are lots and lots exa of examples of that in the house. Uh, I think the most easily accessible one uh, is simple copper wire, right? So this is just a bit of mains cable uh, that I bought um, uh, in here as an example. So just a bit of copper wire. So the copper atoms in this wire are arranged in this face center cubic structure. Uh, another one, I guess, a lot of us, uh, the more fortunate ones of us have, um, is gold, All right? So uh, my wedding ring, uh, the atoms in there uh, are arranged in a face center cubic arrangement. Uh, the other thing you might have, uh, if, you're, if you've got antique versions, um, but this is just an aluminium saucepan. Right, sorry, it's a fairly dirty aluminium source when it gets used for all sorts of nasty jobs. Um, but the aluminium atoms in here, again, arranged in the face center cubic um, crystal structure. So what's next? We've done simple cubic, we've looked at body center cubic, and we've looked at face cubic, all of which are based on this, um, this essential cube uh, motif that we've been talking about. So the next one down on our list is something called hexagonal close packed and that's quite an important one as well. It's a little uh, more tricky to draw but I'm sure we can manage it. It might need a little bit of imagination. So here goes. Um, hexagonal close packed uh, is in essence, I suppose, easiest to imagine um, if you've got um, good 3D imagination and you can think about stacking billiard balls or something. Uh, because the essence of this uh, is that we've got layers of atoms. Um, well, what am I going to do? I'm going to do an arrangement. Have I got the number of atoms right? Yeah, okay. So I've got an arrangement there, you'll see, of seven atoms, one in the centre and six around the outside. But what happens with hexagonal close packing uh, is that the next layer of atoms up actually sit, right, in these little gaps here where we, you can imagine a low point as any three of the balls underneath uh, meet each other. So those are the favoured sites uh, for the next layer up. All right, so we're going to have one there, and there, and there, and so on. All right, and that 
again spreads out in all directions and the layer upon it will do exactly the same thing. The balls will sit in the hollows created uh, by the atoms in the layer below. Okay, so that's hexagonal close packed. Um, and uh, examples of that, well, they're, they're a little bit tougher to come by. If you've got anything that's zinc plated, uh, so a galvanized um, tub, for instance, or water butt, whatever, uh, the zinc will be uh, in this um, hexagonal close patch uh, arrangement. Its atoms will be arranged that way. It happens uh, that my glasses um, have titanium metal frames. So in fact, my example that I've got here uh, are just the spectacles that I wear on my face all the time. Um, but the frame there is titanium and the titanium atoms are arranged in this hexagonal close packed structure. Um, so the next one I'd like to look at, uh, and we're getting towards the, uh, the end of these basic ones now, uh, is the tetrahedral arrangement of atoms. Uh, those of you who are um, particularly fortunate, I suppose, uh, will have plenty of examples of um, a tetrahedral crystal. Uh, anyone who wears diamonds, for instance, is wearing something where the atoms, in that case carbon, are arranged uh, tetrahedrae. I'm not going to share with you any huge diamonds uh, in front of the webcam for the simple reason that I don't possess them. Um, but let's just look at the arrangement of atoms. Uh, it's pretty much as you would expect. Uh, there will be an atom connected to our others in an arrangement that sort of resembles um, a tetrahedral arrangement. So um, if we can imagine the knuckle on my finger, uh, top of my fingers there as the central atom, uh, we've got others connected so that between them uh, they make this pyramid type structure, this tetrahedral structure. Uh, so that's, you know, that's actually quite important apart from in diamond. Um, and the, um, the example that I could find when I was rooting around this morning for this uh, is actually a um, solar powered battery charger for AA batteries. Uh, and the solar cell material in this uh, is silicon and crystalline silicon. Uh, in crystalline silicon the atoms are arranged uh, in this tetrahedral uh, pattern. So those of you with um, uh, photovoltaic cells on your rooftops uh, have got a lot of tetrahedrally arranged silicon atoms. So that's a pretty good example I think of, of tetrahedral uh, arrangements. Now there are others out there in the big wide world uh, as I said right at the beginning. And in fact, a lot of other types uh, of arrangement, which I'm not going to show you uh, now, we could get into um, polymers and, um, you know, large chain molecules of various sort, like the skin in my uh, fingers that you can see in these shots. That's all polymeric, uh, long chain molecule um, material. And they have their own sort of arrangements, their own properties. But for now, I'm going to stick with these five basic types, all of which you can find examples of in and around your houses, I hope. So anyway, that's, uh, that's it for this time. Uh, we'll move on to other things in whatever I choose to be the topic of my next video. Until then, bye.